Good morning, party people. Welcome to The Breakdown with Nath and Johnny. Nathan's a little bit under the weather today, and I don't mean there's a cloud above him. There is, though. There is, Look outside. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm fine for the cloud. Yeah, but okay, good. I good, added good. the cloud in. Good, good. Uh, we're going to, like, when you go away, we're going to be lacking on the editing things, aren't we? It's going to be real basic bitch. But that's yeah, okay. it's going to be so basic bitch. Uh, it's going to be one basic bitch. And one less basic bitch. Yeah. We're checking out something a little different today. Checking out the brand new track from Eminem, Houdini. If it's your first time here, uh... I'm Johnny, this is Nath, we we react to music, um, you've seen Reactors before, but we are metalheads. None as dumb as us though, no. we are the dumbest. The worst. We've got the title. Uh, and we will challenge anyone who says otherwise. They'll win though, because they're smarter than us. Uh, yeah, we generally check out heavy music, but we also both have such eclectic taste, we like to check out other stuff that's out there, and Eminem is someone that is just undefeated when it comes to like legacy in the rap mm. world. Um, yeah. I'm excited to check this out. I saw he did that little teaser thing with David Blaine. That was so cool. Very fun. It was so it's cool. It's a cool little teaser. I've always really liked M- Eminem. Like, I- I've always found him just we to can be... can tell. Oh, you said Eminem. Eminem. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's the rudest thing I've done in so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I've always... I've always liked him as a rapper. His, his production was always really cool, but... I, I have, I will be honest, I've fallen off in the last few years or whatever, just because I, I feel like he lost that playful, um, like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arrogance to him that was kind of like arrogant, but self-depreciating, but funny, but serious, ha- held like a lot of weight to his lyrics. When This kind of seems like it might be headed back in that direction. I don't, I didn't keep up with what his actual albums were that, like in order of what came out okay yeah I haven't listened to him since oh a while ago <laughs> yeah, he's got a lot of albums he now. does have a lot of albums yeah yeah um look I think I don't know yeah okay the last thing I checked out before that was the Eminem show which was in 2022 is when they put that back up um mm. when he did the not music to be murdered by is that the one that had He's no. always had like so many sick features. Which one had the, the Godzilla one where it had like the crazy farce? That that album I actually listened to, and I there's we're on Spotify and I can't tell. There's too much going on there. It's got a lot of music. There was an yeah. album that he did like after the rehab or re something that I felt like he was back, but it's not something I've really followed along for. Yeah. Apart from like singles and hearing bits and pieces every now and again, like that stuff he did for Logic. Yep. His little verse, like he always is, is a standout, so. For sure. He's just iconic as well. I mean, like, whether you like rap, whether you like punk, whether you like metal, whether you like rock, whether you like country, everyone knows who Eminem is, and yeah. you're living under a rock if you've never heard an Eminem song. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out with us. Like I said, if it's the first time here, uh, we hope we don't bore you too much, and definitely hope we don't piss you off. We piss off a lot of people. That is true. We're mm. very controversial. Yeah. The three, two, one. Hey, Em, it's Paul. Uh, I was listening to the album. <coughs> Good fucking luck. You're on your own. Throwback. We've got a problem. Check this out. Oh, he's gone back to the slim hair. The fuck is this shit? Get your ass down here. Guess who's back? What? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Man, there's some cameos in this already. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 
I wonder whether you have to pay like licensing because to use like that chorus. Oh, he's Eminem. He has more money than God, so he can do whatever he wants. Sure. I'm just curious of that. Um, some great, great references to older stuff there. Yeah, fully. The way he breaks down syllables and words to make them rhyme. Like, the rhyme scheme is just incredible. Have we ever talked about the 8 Mile song? I'm not sure we have. All right, we'll talk about that after. Okay. <laughs> Didn't he have another music video that was like a comic? Now yes. back in the days well. of Opie, right around the time I became a dopey, oh. ate some coding as a way of coping, take the vote, be it's case of vote, eat, turn me into snotty face emoji. My shit may not be age appropriate, <laughs> but I will hit an eight year old in so deep cool. face with a participation trophy. Yes, I have zero doubts that this whole world's about to turn into some Girl Scouts that sends the shit girls out. <laughs> So when I started this verse, it did start off lighthearted. It first it feels like I'm targeted. Mind boggling how my profit is skyrocketed. Look what I pocketed. Yeah, the shit is just like y'all have been. I'm like jogging in. I've been running at full speed, and that's why I'm ahead like my noggin. I'm the fight y'all get in. When you die, uh, Shane Gillis! I'm some white chalk and win. I step up with the fuck? cock at them. Oh my god, it's it. Chicken out again. This is what I've missed from Eminem. The fun. I have it's... not. Really? Yeah, this is this is not this This shows our two different personalities though. I'm I'm loving the lyricism, the way he's like playing with sentences and words that I'm just like, fuck, how do you think of that? Yeah. I'm not sure. even gonna pay attention to the film clip that much apart from the fact it's entertaining. Yeah. Okay. But that's, I, I reckon yeah, that's, you're broken. <laughs> that's not the side of Eminem I ever liked, though. I didn't... The old the Slim Shady yeah. Eminem's not Eminem that I liked. Really? No, okay. I got that's into weird. him more on his more, like, aggressive... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah rap like, side of things. It wasn't even like... songs like shaky. The Way I Am and stuff like that. Yeah, like, not as much the stuff I got into. Okay, it's yeah. great. Yeah. I love but, that stuff. But it's it's... I think one of the things for me was that, like... It was it was so well done. The rap is so well done. He's so crafty. Um, the production was always great. And same with the film clip. The production of the film clip is phenomenal. Yeah, but there was a level of fun that you didn't really see in other rap videos. There was a, sure. a level of silliness. Um, yeah, he's not taking himself, himself too seriously. Yeah, yeah for sure. That. The production on his vocals kind of even reminds me of the old stuff. It's a bit sort of I do want to talk about that too at the end. Yeah, yeah. I'm a great driver. Oh, fuck off. Don't worry. I just got my license back. I'm about to reach 
Eminem does not give an absolute single solitary fuck. The well, amount of cameos in that video was wild. Yeah, cameos, throwbacks, Easter eggs, like, yeah. but like, yeah, just even the, just the references to you know things that have happened and like even Pete Davidson getting in a car at the end, like, fucking hell, so so good. That was great. I really enjoyed. It. I really enjoyed the song as well because, like I said, it, it it gives me that heavy nostalgic vibe um, of when Eminem first really came onto the scene, and it was like, oh, this is different. Like number yeah. one, he's a white guy that's just absolutely blowing up in the rap scene. Mm. Uh, he had his own style, his own delivery, um, but he was fucking exceptional. Like you said, his wordplay, the way he moves his like syllables and changes his flow up, and it's it's really quite. Like, I don't know what yeah, the right word is. Yeah, it can is. be, but then he also changes the rhyme scheme so often. That's what I was going to say about the 8 Mile, and I can't even think of that song right now. What's the big song from 8 Mile? I can't remember either. The, it's been a long time. That movie was fucking sick. Though. Knees weak, arms heavy. Oh, yeah. Mum's spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's that one. That's Whatever that song's called, I'm mental blanking <laughs> right now. There's a thing that it says, like, that's... Lose yourself. Lose yourself one of the greatest songs of all time and they said that the way that the rhyme scheme is in that often there's like a, a constant thing of like it'd be like da 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 b da 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 a da 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 b da 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 a that's like the standard way of most rhyming and then sometimes they'll have like it's like Eminem does would be like da 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 a da 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 a da 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 a but they said like in that it's like every third word follows the rhyme scheme they're like there's wow. this whole verse in that they're like he's made the structure of it rhymes words and then with multiple words like conjunctures that aren't actually that sound but the way his cadence the way he delivers it make them rhyme they're like no one does it like that yeah it's insane I don't know where I found this bit on the internet I read it somewhere <laughs> and it made total sense and if anyone has it link it in our comments down below because I'll forget to share this but it, it's it, it's an awesome thing and it made me kind of have a greater respect for him as a songwriter for sure that song to me whilst it was fun and lyrically, he's still incredible. It, I wasn't captivated by it. it really? Because that was the... Bum, 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 the whole way through. And that's not the side of things. Because musically, it didn't interest me that much. It was too quirky and fun. Okay. And there was no break in that. I, so I focused on the lyrics, yeah. but also I actually got bored by the music. There, it, from a music standpoint, there was okay, nothing yeah, there yeah, to yeah. break it up. And keep it yeah. interesting to me, unless you're really paying attention to the words. And I think I'd get over that after a few listens. Okay. So I still enjoyed that first listen, but I think the song itself didn't captivate me in the way some of these others do because it didn't change up that much. Right, okay. I I get where you're coming from because, you know, like I've got the same opinion in, you know, like heavy music. If something is yeah too much the same the whole way through and there's no ebb and flow, no peaks and valleys, yeah. um, it is like that. But I think... I don't know why I have a different perspective when it comes to rap. Do you think it's just more the nostalgia that gets you like happy? And, Could and be. you also said like we Could differentiate be. in what we like from it. You like the the quirky, fun stuff. Yeah, as you yeah. said. So that makes sense. You'd enjoy that more. But I also know that, as you said, you don't like things that are the same the whole way through. And that for me, musically, was pretty much. It the did same rely thing. heavily on that um, the sample of that old Abracadabra song. I don't even like that song originally either. So that's adds to it. <laughs> Okay. I'm like, oh, it's not the strongest chorus. That's an interesting thing, though. Like, if if someone... I, I'm assuming that a lot of fans of Eminem, rap fans and younger fans, would probably not know that song. Yeah, Just maybe. like they wouldn't have known, um, you know, the Aerosmith song that that other one he did came from. It's a and banger, though. It is a banger. Yeah. It is a banger. But I often wonder if, if someone dislikes a song so much that's been sampled, if that's... Affects the next song. Affects yeah. how they feel about that. That's not the main reason why I don't like it. I just think my thing was that musically it didn't change up enough. There was no, there was no real like 
verse, chorus, bridge. They, it was just one thing the whole way through. Even when yeah. it cut to the chorus would, and singing, I am the music interested. doesn't change. Yeah, I'm going to be interested to listen to it without the music video um, and once I know all the lyrics. Because, as you know, I'm a bit of a... Handsome man. I was going to say a bit of a dickhead. Bit of a oh, I was silly not going to say that. But yeah. I, I quite enjoy... Um, not assholes, but I quite enjoy provocateurs in music like this, yeah. where it it just pushes the buttons of some people, but they do it in a way that's so tongue in cheek, you can't really get upset by it. But I like the fact that he goes there, and I wonder if maybe once I know all the lyrics and I've picked out all the oh, he didn't moments, if I'll still feel the same. Yeah, because that was like obviously the music video was sick, the nostalgia was sick, the sound was sick. He's great. Um, but once you're super familiar with it, will it have the same replay value? You touched on the production on the vocals too, and that was another thing. Yeah. It, it, it didn't have much dynamic for me. Okay. It was all a, a certain style of production, which I'm sure was intentional, but I like when you can hear more of the aggression in his vocals at times, and I don't think there's any moments there that had a lift. It was there, no. and it's very, very clever and very like... Poke the bear in a lot of ways, yeah. which I'm sure a lot of people are going to love. And that was, like, as I said, there was a bit there. I was like, "Whoa, that's <laughs> can't believe you said that." But again, overall, that's not enough to make me go, "Fuck, that's a sick song." It yeah. goes. There was okay. really cool moments, but overall, yeah, two very differing opinions on this one. Um, but that's the like benefit it. of having two idiots to a chat. Right, right. Yeah, everyone's like, you know what? You're both wrong. <laughs> You guys don't know shit. We don't. It's true. I think mean, you've got some screaming shit to listen to. You know what we're doing? We're going to do that in the next video. So if you enjoyed this, come back and watch the next one. You might actually enjoy it. Yeah, we'll actually know what we're talking about in the next yeah. one. <laughs> well, uh, but thanks for being here anyway. And for those of you that aren't necessarily Eminem fans, what do you think of that? For, for those of you that don't normally go towards rap, and if you stuck around this long, hey, thanks for watching. What did you guys think of that? Did you enjoy the provocative nature of it and the way Johnny did? Um, or were you more along my lines of being, I just kind of hope for a little bit more dynamics in it. I liked your move thing, right? Kind of, like, just, really, like, it was like a full Stevie Wonder Well, the thing is, I did, <laughs> I enjoyed moments of that so much, because I was like, he is undisputedly a goat. Yeah. But I just think the song itself wasn't the strongest I've heard from him, or it's not the style from him that I love. I respect your opinion. Oh, look at us, Gary. Yeah. See you guys next time. <laughs> Peace.